In my previous video, I showed you some examples of functions for creating buckets, deleting buckets, and um, inspecting the contents of buckets in your OCI, your Oracle Cloud Infrastructure um, environment, okay, and in your account. So those functions kind of build upon the, the OCI uh, library within Python, being able to build in a lot more functionality and make it a little bit more usable and a bit more kind of feedback and kind of error processing and stuff like that within what you would typically want to do. And in this video, we're going to kind of move on to some of the other examples of it, you know, from looking at how to upload individual files to maybe uploading, uh, you know, not just individual files, but a, a directory of, of contents within that. But it's also, you know, if we're uploading it, we can also download it. Now, all of these are being done in sequential manner. So these would probably take, you know, a second, two seconds for each file being able to download. But, you know, look out for my other video where I'll show you how you can do this all in parallel, which is just an extension of, of the code that's been kind of given here. And then we can, you know, use that to explore different objects on it. And then in our final case, you know, being able to kind of maybe clean up what we need to do. So let's go and have a look at some of those functions. Again, you know, if you want to get the actual code, is check the, the video description and you'll find links to the blog posts that contain all of this code. So everything is there online to be able to help you to explore it. So let me just scroll back up to some of these different uh, functions. Um, and you know, where we finished off in the previous video has been looking at being able to delete a bucket. But you know, we have other functions here to be able to say upload a file. So let's just have a look at that one first. Now, what we have here is you know we have a basic OCI um, function to be able to upload a file. All right. Now there is a kind of couple of things with these kind of uploading and downloading files. Just keep in mind, you when you are kind of opening the file, make sure you open it in a kind of ORB kind of format. Um, Otherwise, you might get some errors, so you, you need to be just careful of all of that. So again, over uploading file, we're going to check to see if the bucket exists. If the bucket exists, then you know we can go ahead and upload it. So we have some validation checking within this, which is really important when we're building out applications to being you know or more complex applications rather than just running individual lines of code. So that's kind of doing it for individual files, which is something you useful for it to do. But sometimes we want to be able to upload entire directories. So this is you know where we bring in kind of an extra loop within all of this is that while well, what we want to do is kind of take our particular directory, get all the file names uh, that exist within that particular directory and upload them. Now we could easily expand this to say only upload files of a particular format or a particular file extension. Uh, kind of thing and being able to do that. You know, it's, it's again, a relatively straightforward kind of piece of code that we can write on this. And, you know, what you'll see in most of these examples is that, you know, our validation and our kind of our checking code is, is a lot more, uh, or is, you know, has a lot more kind of lines of code than what we actually need for actually uploading it. But all of these, you know, extra lines of code are useful for our different uh, uh, processing uh, so that we don't actually have to build some of this into our main application. So we extract that and being able to put this. And here's the code then for being able to download a, a bucket. Again, you know, we'll check to see if the bucket exists. Um, but we can also check to see if the directory exists. And if the directory doesn't exist, we can create it. And then, you know, we look at getting the list of objects within the the, the bucket and then for each of those particular objects what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, download each one of these now these are will be downloaded in sequential manner so it'll download the first file then it'll download the second one then it'll download the third one and so on and um, so watch out for another uh, blog post and video that i have i've been able to kind of take this kind of code and being able to run it in parallel and the time that it actually takes to run is going to be significantly shorter than, say, doing it in a sequential uh, manner. So there's an example of you know, downloading a bucket. So just like what we did kind of with the upload, we can upload a file or we can upload a directory. This is about downloading a bucket or downloading uh, a particular file that we actually want.
And, and the other thing is about when we go to download it is this is the piece of code that's really important for kind of downloading. We'll see it in, in, in both of our functions. It's about being able to download it in, in the raw format and being able to write that out to the file system in different chunks. So uh, that's an important uh, piece of code or particular kind of command. Otherwise, the files that you actually download, if you just write them down, you're going to get stuff that's going to be uh, not readable and not in the correct format. And, you know, it'll just effectively be kind of gobbledygook for, for you. So make sure you check out the links in the video description, which will bring you to the blog post that contains all of this code and examples of the output from it all. So thanks very much.